Yo, what's going on? Sexy Samuel underscore today. We're here doing a ranked 1v1, and you might see me locking in set, and you're thinking to yourself right now, Sam, it's not Thursday. Why are you playing set? Well, there's one reason, really. I was going to say two, but there's one. Uh, Twig gassed up my set, basically saying that I was a really good set and that if anyone wants to learn to play set, they should ask me. And then I realized I haven't done a set video even in Try Hard Thursday, honestly, in, like, months. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I figured, why not? I'll play him a bit. I'll do a little bit of a play-by-play, -play and we'll uh, we'll see what kind of action we can get out of this. Now, immediately, against a Loki, I think defense is way better than offense. Like, bruiser items are way better. And I could just go straight into stone cutting. It wouldn't be horrible. I want to go straight into berserkers, but my clear will suffer really bad if I do that. Actually, I only lose five power. I'm down. I'm down to try it. I'm down to try it. I've never done this before, gone straight into berserkers, but uh, if I'm only losing five power, it can't be that bad, right? I lose five power and 5% movement speed, but I gain 15 protection. And because I have so much gold left over, I can get a uh, a chalice. That seems pretty good. Anyways, the main purpose of this video, well, other than, you know, teaching. Um, I want to point out some things that I see a lot of sets doing incorrectly. And a lot of things that they could do a little bit better. So for starters, what a lot of people don't know is that... You can teleport with your with your three on set at any moment. You don't need to use it immediately. Um, and because people don't know that, you will not hurt me. Because people don't know that, they tend to teleport unoptimally and will end up just basically losing the fight. So, what I recommend, just right out the gate, if you three do not teleport right away unless you absolutely need to for some reason don't teleport right away because you can teleport whenever man why waste it when you can potentially do something great with it i have literally no man at all so i'm just kind of running around right now he's also running around he's got the uh the blue buff so i don't know i feel like i probably do not win this oh he missed that auto on me I probably don't win this fight, mainly because no mana. Okay, well, I mean, he wasted his ult completely, so I will take that. I'm going to back right now. What is it? It's 11.50, right? Oh, it's 12.50. Well, that sucks. Whatever, I'm going to back right now anyways. The reason is I want to be able to make it for that red buff if I can. He has no ult, so I'm not scared of losing a fight to him. What I am scared of is losing that red buff. It does look like he wants it. He is starting it. Perfect. Alright, so. What I did there, obviously I teleported in with my 2-3 my over the wall. However, I didn't hesitate at all with using my alt. And the reason for not hesitating is because if you use your alt, every every half second of your three that goes away is less damage you're getting out of your alt. Which is just, I mean, nobody wants less damage out of their alt, right? So <clears throat> what I recommend is the second you use your three, if you see any sort of fighting potential, you alt. You don't even hesitate. Every, like I said, every half second you hesitate is less damage out of your ult, less healing out of your ult, less movement speed out of your ult, less attack speed you get from your ult. Because what a lot of people don't know is your ult actually uncaps your passive. <clears throat> so as set, your passive can stack up to 10 times and each stack giving you 2.5% attack speed, aka 25% attack speed. But... When you're ulting, it's completely uncapped. There, There's no cap at all for it. You can go all the way up to a, a million stacks if you could make it that far. So, 
your three while you're ulting is not just important it is it literally the glue of your entire kit if you alt and you don't three you will lose every fight you are in i promise <laughs> so yeah that uh, that's definitely the number one tip with set if you three you alt oh there you are I can actually dive this because the healing I get from my ult and the fact that I started Berserker Shield first item. Why is he blinking? That annoys me. I'm 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 actually tilted. <laughs> Alright, let's go stone cutting here. And the reason, again, it's just a bruiser type item that I feel like will help me. Get a lead in the early game. And Set is one of those gods where you have pretty good clear. Um, and you have really good buff secure. Because your 2-1 combo does way too much damage. So because you have great clear and great buff secure, you are literally not going to kill me ever. What you want to do is you want to not even necessarily fight too much early. Because you win the game for free late as long as you're even or ahead. And most of the time, if you're not fighting, you will be ahead. For the, like I said, the reason is you just straight up clear better than most gods and you buff secure better than most gods. So it's all about playing your, your strengths, I guess, when you play set. You're clearing, you're poking because his poke is really good, but you're not really all inning unless you see the, a, a great opportunity. Which nobody can teach you. It's just... That's just if you are able to see fighting opportunities or not. If you have enough experience in the game or not, really. But if you don't see the fighting opportunities, you'll get there. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I don't hear... Oh, I do hear him doing blue. Well, I didn't hear him doing it, but I heard it drop. Assuming you're not going to let me back, I will ult you if you fight me. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Okay. He finished his breastplate, so he got his one up. Are you going to two me? Predictable. Predictable. Now I'm going to go serrated. So, uh, I'm trying to think. What have I told you already? I told you about your three and your alt. I've told you about basically how to play set where you are farming unless you see an all-in potential. And now I'm going to tell you, basically, it doesn't matter. <laughs> set is one of those characters where if you're 10 HP and they're 100 HP... Or if you're 10% HP and they're 100% HP, you can still win the fight with your alt and your three up. As long as, like I said, you utilize the glue, the glue of your kit, which I think at this point I've, you know, shot into your head enough. But uh, it doesn't really matter. His cooldowns are so long that there's going to be times where you fuck up and there's going to be times where... You think you did things good and you didn't, or vice versa. And it really just comes down to the only way to really get good at a god, you can watch all the guides in the world, is by playing them. You don't scare me. Yeah, I can just W key him. With, uh, with stone cutting, I get a lot of damage out. All right, now I'm going serrated because serrated gives me 20% pen, which is just insane if you really think about it. 20% pen and a ton of power gives me up to, what is that, 54 power? Because you get eight power per ability that's down, not including your ult. Yeah, every non-ultimate ability, you get a stack of cruelty giving you eight power. So yeah, 20 or 54 power item with 20% pen. 
and what is that 19 percent lifesteal and seven percent movement speed come on dude that's such a good item and i told you earlier excuse me sets uh sets cooldowns are really long so you utilize serrated really well another thing with set is his two is actually an auto attack reset like an entire chain reset which is not many people have that maybe like actually that's not true a lot of a lot of gods have an auto attack chain reset but it's really good because his is an auto attack chain reset and an auto attack reset so you see here how fast i can auto when i place my minion down if you go back and watch the the video slow down if you need to um you gotta remember that when you alt again as long as your three's up you are breaking that cap on set there's a cap that you can only have two minions out at once when you are alting you can have up to eight eight of those bitches dude eight of them do you know how strong eight little minions are not only when the minions hit do they proc your alt which increases your healing and increases your damage it also uh increases how fast you auto attack and and spawns more minions a minion hit will spawn more minions because they, it, they spawn a minion every four ticks of damage so when you think about it that way you're getting basically infinite minions out while you're alting and those minions that that are out are proccing more minions which are proccing more damage which are proccing more healing which is proccing auto attack resets because you can spam your two while you're alting. It does cost mana. So you need a lot of mana to do it, but um Oh no. Nice. But because of the fact Okay. <laughs> you really tried there. I'm sorry. That was just funny to me. Um But because you can spam your minions, you can press two as fast as you want. That means you can auto attack as fast as you want while building up your passive stacks to auto attack as fast as you want. It's it all kind of works in tandem with each other. I know it, it seems so weird the way I'm talking about it, where it's like I, it seems like his entire kit is his ult. And it's I mean, honestly, it is like if you're not if you're not abusing the ult to the best of your ability, you're not playing set right. So basically, little recap. If you three, you consider alting. If you consider alting, you are spamming your two and your auto attack resets and everything else that you could possibly do just to abuse more damage, get more damage out of that. I don't know why he went bull demon, by the way. I don't really understand it because my dude really doesn't do any damage. Oh, he altered over the wall. Is he just running? You just running? Oh, he's doing his blue. All right, well, him not having an alt and me having basically triple physical defense and my three giving me mitigations. Oh, he actually DC'd right now. Interesting. I think he did DC. Oh, he's back. Okay. I'm just going to clear the wave and run away. Oh, minions are killing him. All right, I pause and I message. Phoenix, 1707. Are you okay? And I wipe my nose because my nose is so runny right now, man.
Okay, sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, so uh, the best... Now that I've basically taught you how to play set, I'll tell you how I like to build him. There's two different ways. When I'm against a mage, I like to go damage. I like to go transcendence, hydras, uh, heart seeker, crusher, just like... If I hit him, I want him to die, period. <laughs> like, that's how I build set. But you always go double the defense because his alt with the healing and the extra damage and your three giving you 10% damage reduction just off the bat, 10% damage reduction against everything, physical, magical, towers, anything. Um, it's, it's really good to go double defense because that health that you're healing from your alt is going just that much further just a little bit further because you are so tanky you'll notice i have berserker shield i have stone cutting i have uh i have witch blade and my damage is still really really high i really don't need any more and what i'm gonna do for my damage just to increase it a tiny bit uh is i'm gonna go heart seeker so i'm gonna go triple defense Maybe Quadra if you count stone cutting as defense. But um Witchblade, Berserker Shield, Stone Cutting, and then I'm probably gonna go into maybe just uh Emperor's Armor. Emperor's armor because I, I'm diving him a lot. Let me see. Let me see my options here. Mm, actually I'll go Cat Shield. I know it has mag magical protection on it too, but uh 20% extra healing. Pretty good, man. And I'm pretty sure it gives damage too, right? 20 power, yeah. So definitely not bad. And then just to increase my, my damage a little bit, I probably don't need it. I mean, if you'll you see how much damage I'm doing right now. Gonna plop that down for a little bit of a power buff. You should be dead here. Oh, he finished his soul leader so he can heal. I saw him, by the way, over here. There we go. Never even had the alt. And yeah, I mean, being so tanky is... Not only is it good for towers and shit like that, but... These bruiser items... Like, all, all of my defensive items, like I said, I'm going quadra defense. Every single one gives me power, except for Witchblade, which lowers his power. Well, technically lowers his auto attacks, but... Just reducing his... Uh, his damage output by a stat that's not just defense. So, it's really, really good. You're getting a lot of power. Like, I still have 120. And obviously, I'm going to grab Heartseeker, which is 75, so. He could seal this, maybe. I don't have a lot of mana. Hello. Yeah. All right, that's fair. I don't know why I stayed and auto-attacked him that much, but I did. That's okay, though. Um, and I, I knew he was going to ult it. I just... I just stayed there anyways, because I'm greedy. <clears throat> I guess I'll grab tier 2 of this, and then I'll upgrade my bracer to this one. It's fine. I could lose Phoenix here, actually. I think I will lose phoenix here interesting Your metal phoenix has been destroyed. um with his build i don't think he can 100 to zero without minions my titan Strike. But i think i am okay but it's crazy that i died once and i lost tower and phoenix huh I have a lot of movement speed because of my bracer too.
Where are you? Backdooring or no? He is nowhere close to being able to win a fight with me, by the way. And I think he knows that. I think backdooring actually is his best option. But he'll never do it. Oh, the Titan, dude. The Titan bopped my ass. I think I just lost the game. The Titan actually bopped my ass there. Yo, he got two full items on that back. Oh, I got my Heart Seeker. Nice. Hmm. Honestly? I'm a little confused. I don't really know how I lost that fight. Other than the fact that he had Bracer and I didn't, but... I don't know. Oh, it, honestly, it's the... Never mind. I know why. It's because he finished his Titan's Bane and had full build, like literal full build. And I didn't. <laughs> I, I had I had 2,000 gold in hand when I died. And he had just backed and finished his Titan's Bane. It makes sense. <clears throat> Uh, can I have red buff? Nope. Okay. I didn't want it anyways. Joke's on you. <clears throat> I can probably just TP in and take his Phoenix. He's playing very passive. Very defensive, I'll say. Not necessarily passive. Hmm... kill him here Your is under oh no he actually heals a lot with that soul eater all right all right fair play i think what i want to do actually is this Your titan is under attack. yeah the cat shield was a meme buy anyways because i just wanted to go a little bit more healing but with his soul leader, he's actually healing quite a bit. So I think speed stick is going to do a lot for me here. <clears throat> not to mention just straight up the damage it's giving me is not bad. Oh, I missed. that hit me? There's one. Oh, it did. Alright. Did you spam laugh me? Or is that my minions? It sucks because I want to go get that red buff, but... I mean, I know I can't pick it up. But I want to stop him from getting it. But I know that he can actually backdoor. Now that he has Titan's Bane, so I have to be a little bit cautious. Can't really run out there right now. I'm backing because I don't know where he is. Okay, I see him now, so I'm chilling. <laughs> a lot of damage, man. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. You see that? No hesitation. Just the second that I might see an opening to fight, 
I go in there and he is deceased. Obviously, when you're playing the game yourself, you probably shouldn't build cat shield and duel. But uh, I did it just because I figured it would. I mean, I wanted the extra healing. Don't get me wrong. But I knew it was bad. He used his ult to try to get away, so I know I'm safe here. My damage is insane. By the way, a lot of people actually underestimate how much damage your 3 does, but it did 600 damage to Titan there, and it did 170 to him in the few seconds that he was in it. It only did 7 ticks, and it did 170. Yeah, like 10 damage a tick? That's that's pretty high, actually. Um, But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, kind of like more in-depth set guide and if you did make sure to like comment and sub subscribe make sure to check out my stream friday september 9th 6 p.m eastern and if you want to you can join as a member with the first link in the description or the join button under the video i appreciate you guys until next time peace